come to the green side. <laughs> be -de -be -de -be -be -de -be. Hi guys, it's Dylan for Dylan's Vegan Experiment. How you all doing? It's day 28. Um, did you watch my video yesterday? Especially at the end. Ooh, it was a bit heavy, wasn't it? A bit deep, a bit deep. Hate. Mm. Anyways, if you haven't watched it, check it out. I even got some video clips, um, some free video clip thingies and stuck them on the end. Not sure whether I liked it or not. Be cool to see what you think. Anyways, so what did I notice the other day? I was having a shower. Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. I was just having a shower. And my shoulder, this one, has not been able to go up further than that since I damaged it years ago. Now check it out, watch, ready? So look. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It was really weird. I was having a shower and I kind of put it up and I thought, do you know what? It's weird, isn't it, how your body just knows. I kind of put it up to there and I thought, it can go further. As I was watching my long, uh, washing my long mane of hair, hmm, long mane of hair, very nice, Mr. Dill. Long, long, flowing, golden locks. <laughs> yeah. And then I just kind of, it went higher. And then I'll tell you, it just felt like the, the joint just went ever so gently, just went clunk. No, no, clunk, no, nothing. It just, it just felt like it just slotted back in, stonking. Really cool. So that's it. I now have a shoulder that works. A huge part of that is posture. So I've been really working on my posture. When they clunk, I'll try and straighten up. And. I know I must look really weird, but the clunk's gone. So it's, a lot of that's to do with posture. And if you look at the rotary cuff and stuff, they always go on about posture. So I suggest if you have any rotary cuff issues, really look at your posture. And the other thing I'd like to mention is I think quite a few times when we fail um, to lose weight on the vegan diet, anyway, if you're looking at losing weight on the vegan diet, for me, the first thing is health. And they say health and weight are closely connected. I think that's much more the case when you're a meat eater or when you're a junk food eater. I think when you eat a vegan diet, I mean, even when I was doing We Fit the other day, and it says my actual We Fit age is 35. I'm 44 in a couple of months. When I did that, when I was a meat eater, I was, <laughs> I know it's not some scientific gauge, is it? But I was like 60 something. <laughs> Yeah, 60 something and I was 30 something. I was like, oh, that's crap, isn't it? So, you know, on on the we science level, I'm doing all right. So even though on we I'm obese, I'm still actually way, way healthier than I ever was. Mind you, then again, I was obese then too. But then if we look at it like that, I was obese in both instances. But in one of them, I was 64, and in this one, I'm 35. Why am I 35? Because of a vegan diet. You gotta try it. It's like a looter on a riot. You get me? I don't know where that's going. Cool, so what I wanted to say though, more importantly, is I think far too often, we potentially think it's a bit like those um, cheating eaters or whatever it is on TV where they're adamant that they only eat the foods that they say they eat. And actually when a camera goes around with them or they have that sneaky investigator checking them out, they'll sneak in a little bit of this here and a little bit of that there. And it doesn't count as food to them, but actually it is food. What I've noticed is I lose weight easily when I eat fruit. And now I'm more starches and cooked foods I've still not quite got that balance right. So I thought whilst I'm waiting for my body to heal, what I'll do now for the next however long, maybe a month or something, is actually track and document my feedings for the day. And that's gonna help me to actually 
recognize whether I, whether I am falling over or not. Because the time I know I am falling over is at the weekends, when I just can't be bothered to cook, so I just go for any old crap. So I'll be like, oh, we'll just get some chips from up the road, and things like that, you know? All of that, it has to stop if I want to lose the weight. I get that. Exercise comes second. But I feel great. Cool? Always feeling good. Anywho, especially in the, in the hood. Oh, it's a big hood. In the hood. Get it? Feeling good in the hood? <laughs> Anyways, that's my ramble over for the day. If you didn't check out yesterday's video, check it out. Let me know what you think. Oh, something glitched on the computer. Hope everything's cool. Catch you later. This is Dylan, signing out. Bye.